Pack your stuff. I'm dropping you at SPCA. Hey fur runs, welcome to our channel Aoki and Anais where I share my journey with my new puppy, a 22 weeks old red sesame shiba inu. If you're new here, I'm Anais, this is Aoki and my cat Suke, welcome to the family. I'm leaving Canada and flying to see my family back home for three full weeks so I thought I'd share my pet sitting planning. This will give you a glimpse in the life of a dog parent and it'll also show you what it is like to plan living arrangements for your dog when you're planning a vacay away. Okay, you need to choose what you're bringing to Auntie Max. This is your basket to go. This is your luggage. <laughs> I know, it doesn't look like a lot. I got your new toys too. Oh, your sushi's poked. I looked into doggy hotel fares just to have an understanding of how much it costs. I'm obviously not planning to send him to doggy daycare or doggy hotel but I was very curious to know how much it costs, what the package includes and also to see what kind of doggy hotels there are in my area and it all depends on the real estate you are renting from them so they have, so one hotel mentioned that they have kind of like four tiers, so small rooms um, medium-sized rooms, they have suites, they even had presidential suites mentioned. Um, so yeah, it really depends on um, on how big your dog is. Regular suites range from $35 Canadian to um, $65 for the presidential suites, so ultra deluxe, huge room, bed, window, high ceiling kind of thing. Um, it was 95 I think, or $85 Canadian. The pro of using, I'm trying to get that tag, you know, that plastic thing, maybe with that. And the pro of sending your doggy, um, your doggy to the doggy hotel is basically you are handing your dog, your puppy to professionals and their whole team of people, usually if it's a good one. Oh, perfect, got it out. And so they have, a set amount of staff to watch a set amount of doggies so that you can rest assured that your doggy is going to be taken care of um, and that includes potty, indoor outdoor gyms, there's one that also had a pool which is very very cool but all those services are top ups to your basic plan I think. Which brings me to the second point, it is extremely expensive. Imagine me sending Aoki to Doggy Hotel. It would be, let's say for a mid-tier room, $50, because he's quite small, so he doesn't need a big room. So let's say 50 bucks times 21 days. I've always been very bad at math. 20 days, $50, um, five times, Two is uh, 50 times 21 is 1050 and that's just the basic it doesn't include food it doesn't include any grooming so it really adds up quickly in my case I don't think it's necessary because he has people who can watch him while I'm gone but it is very convenient if you go on a couple's trip or a work trip and you need to leave your dog to a sitter um, and I think that a sitter would actually be in my city around $80 um, daily Canadian and the pro of course is that you are placing them in a similar environment to your home so the environment, the life in the house, the sounds, the smells will be very similar to what he is used in your own home so that i think that's a great plus that said it is very expensive 85 dollars for just three days i mean emergency i need to leave and i can't bring my pucker with me he's chewing his new toy he's obsessed with it look come hi good boy good boy look. you're strong Oh, oh, good boy! Stand up! Stand up! Yay! Good boy! 
oh, just notice he stole the tab from me. He is obsessed with paper, carton, tissue, and anything that's papery actually. It's a problem. He has an addiction. So I'm planning to fill this basket I got at HomeSense um, and fill it with toys, his snacks, got his favorite beef liver treats, which I use for um, his training. So one thing I thought um, of doing is including toys like this one that are not squeaky because I think that Mag will be working remotely and I think she has a bunch of conf calls scheduled in the day and having a dog that is squeaking like that in the bag during your conf calls is no bueno. Also got those two, which are first this one, you stuff treats in there. And then this is an interesting one because it is supposedly industry, industry, industry. Eh, 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 eh. See, I can't leave those things to the ground. It is not safe for Mr. Because he eats everything. But yeah, this ball is indestructible, supposedly. And if your dog destroys it, they send you a new one because apparently um, if they do, they make that 1% of dogs who can destroy this ball. So very interesting. It's kind of big for him right now, but he's going to grow more and I think it will be fine. Can you imagine in three weeks he'll be bigger? This is the one reason I don't want to leave because I'm going to miss this little chipmunk face. Look at this face. I'll miss three weeks of him growing up. So yeah, I'm gonna miss you too. I got him three cans of oven baked tradition. They are Canada based, actually from Quebec, and they do amazing wet food. He is obsessed with them. So I'm just gonna include three of them because again, I am spoiling him a bit too much. <gasps> oh mon dieu! Look at the bite marks. Are those bite marks? They are. Don't know if this is going to last long. So should I include your frisbee too? I think so. I think so. Dried duck feet are his favorite. So uh, I took a bunch here. We also got a mason jar full of treats for the little pupper. So here. And then I need to choose exactly what I, what I wanna <sighs> put it there. In terms of 100% Great Jacks, they are amazing. He loves it, obsessed. So the three packs here. What else? What do you want? Uh, more Great Jacks. I also love those, more Great Jacks. <laughs> Basically obsessed with Great Jacks. Also have his dental Sticks. And then fruit sticks. Again, oven baked tradition. I'm just going to finish packing his basket here and then the rest will stay at home. Okay, sit. Speak. Uh uh. Speak. No, 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 don't do that. What are you doing? Teenage boys are the worst, aren't they? <laughs> don't stand up. Speak. Sit. Speak. <laughs> yes, good boy.
I've created a pet sitting pager that compiles everything from his health card to his emergency contacts as well as a template schedule. You can go check it out on our IG highlights. From there, you'll be able to screenshot the pager to keep for yourselves and your own pump. Feel free to DM us if you have any questions or suggestions. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from Ao Can I, hit that subscribe button and bell to get notified every time we post more dog content. Thanks for watching and see you all next time.